What up, ninjas? Getting Joe here again, and I got another review for all of you today. And we will be looking at Generations Thundercracker. Once again, another remold of Starscream that we will imperatively probably see a lot of in the near future. Uh, there's already been a release of Skywarp, obviously, but that was a Japanese release that we might not end up seeing in the United States. But hopefully, if Hasbro plays their cards right and Takara loves us, <clears throat> we will get one too and maybe a dual exclusive pack. Kind of like Universe back in the day when they had Skywarp and Ultra Magnus. But regardless, we have our nice little figurine here. And this is awesome. Look at this guy. Lots of awesome paint. As you can tell, very Thundercracker-like, but yet the same Terrajet slash Cybertronian feel. Now we have these two awesome weapons that combine together to make a dual spinning pistol-y thing. The, the cutter, whatever the heck it's called, from the game. And you can take them apart and use them individually however you see fit, if that's what you like. We get on to the figure, as you can tell, Lots of really neat stuff. Um, nothing that stands out like no little little dude in the cockpit or nothing like that. But nonetheless, oop, there's some bits in there that you can see. But other than that, I mean, it's really not a bad figure or and representation of Thundercracker. Let me zoom out here a little bit. And as you can tell, this figure, I kind of look like it got some Star Wars thing going on here. I don't know. Insert in the comments what you think this jet looks like. Either way, it's awesome, and we shall transform it. Ooh. There we are, kitties. We have Thundercracker transformed, and as you can tell, he is pretty much... Actually, he is identical to the Starscream mold. Let me get a, just a quick zoom in there. As you can tell, his face is basically Starscream's. There is no variation on the face, and I believe that's kind of the way it was throughout all the series. They all look the same. They're all Seekers. They're all Coneheads. Regardless, doesn't matter. Still an epic figure. Got a good, nice, I don't know, a nice stance. Good stance. A striated stance. All because, I'll zoom down a little bit, you can see he has these nice tilted articulation for his feet, nice articulation knees, hips, I mean it's just a really nice articulated figure. Yeah. And in all reality I'm not a big fan of highly articulated figures because you usually see a lot of um, design flaw and it suffers in the vehicle mode and it you know obviously reigns supreme in robot mode because we have elbows and double jointed and da 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 and, but you know fortunately for this guy he does not uh, suffer from that same parallax and that's why fortunately for all of us that get him or have yet to get him or want to get him uh, we can you know justify the purchase of him you know, like so. Uh, I ended up finding him at my local Target, which is awesome. There he's all beefed up, obviously. And it's really nice to know that uh, I can still end up picking these figures up at an actual reasonable time this time around. Uh, it seemed like they were getting in a lot of the newer stuff, and there is a lot newer stuff on the shelves recently. So it's really nice to see that all that stuff is getting circulated, and it's really nice to see that I didn't have to wait online for my order to be filled. So that's great. Two bonuses and such like that. So keep an eye out for this guy if you are trying to complete your new Seeker collection. You definitely want to add this guy to it, especially if you already went to the trouble of getting the Skywarp. And then this is just a drop in the bucket. Plus, you get a comic book which I won't tell you much about, but it outlines some pretty cool stuff about Thundercracker. So this is Gage saying, pick him up because he's an awesome figure. More reviews to come, close-ups at the end, and this is Gage saying, peace out.